The movie begins by showing a newborn baby boy in a city in China. The baby had a flash horn on his head. That's why his mother named him Lu Chan, a strange human. Lu Chan's father was a successful entrepreneur who was very stingy even to his family. A few years later, his father's character did not change even though he had a kid. It made Lu Chan's mother intend to steal his money to support herself and her son's life. One day, Lu Chan was playing outside the house. He bought snacks while watching a street kung fu show. At the same time, some kids appeared and disturbed him. They accidentally hit the flesh horn on his head. This left Lu Chan unconscious. But a few moments later, he woke up and went back to beating all the children with kung fu that he imitated from what he had seen before. Even the kung fu master who demonstrated his kung fu earlier couldn't resist the mighty blow that Lu Chan launched. Soon, Lu Chan fainted again, and his nose was bleeding. However, the kung fu master was amazed by Lu Chan's skill. A martial artist, Master Zhao, followed Lu Chan to his house. Lu Chan saw his mother being kicked out by his father for stealing his money. Lu Chan and his mother left home with nothing. At that time, his mother was suffering from a disease. Master Zhao, who followed him, was concerned about Lu Chan's mother's condition. He then asked Lu Chan's mother for permission to take care of Lu Chan and teach him Kung Fu. As a parent who loved her son very much and was helpless due to the situation, she agreed to Master Zhao's request. Not long after, Lu Chan's mother died. The scene changes to 18 years later. Lu Chan is now an adult and joined the troops led by Master Zhao. They intended to seize a city in one of the kingdoms. Lu Chan was Master Zhao's best soldier, so he took part directly in the battle against the royal troops. As time went on, Master Zhao realized that the enemy's strength was getting stronger. He then ordered his men to hit the flesh horn on Lu Chan's head. That way, they could dominate the battle that was taking place at that moment. Master Zhao's men approached Lu Chan to conduct Master Zhao's orders, thus making Lu Chan again turn into a powerful figure. After successfully pressing the enemy, Lu Chan again collapsed and was immediately taken by his partner to return to their base. Upon arrival at the base, Lu Chan was taken to Mr. Dong, a healer. When Lu Chan woke up, Mr. Dong advised him to get away from anyone who wanted to touch the flesh horn in his head. He also advised Lu Chan to stop learning Kung Fu taught by Master Zhao because it could not stabilize his soul and mind. Mr. Dong then advised him to study Chen-style Kung Fu. It was suitable for Lu Chan to stabilize his soul and mind. However, Master Zhao did not accept Mr. Dong's words to Lu Chan. He then asked Lu Chan not to listen to Mr. Dong and keep practicing Kung Fu. After that, Master Zhao challenged Mr. Dong to fight to prove who was the best Kung Fu master. Soon, the fight between them took place. However, Mr. Dong apparently had strong Kung Fu skills even though he was just a healer. Finally, Mr. Dong defeated Master Zhao and humiliated him in front of his troops. In the evening, the royal troops were sneaking into Master Zhao's squad headquarters and giving a surprise attack. Lu Chan suddenly woke up and felt very surprised. The tents burned down, and many of Master Zhao's troops were killed, including Mr. Dong, who got hit by an arrow on his back. At the end of his death, Mr. Dong again advised Lu Chan to allow himself to learn Chen-style martial arts. He then told the place where Lu Chan could learn Chen-style Kung Fu. It was a village called Chen. Mr. Dong told Lu Chan to meet Master Chen, who was in that town. After that, Lu Chan hurried away from the headquarters to get to the place. The scene changes to Lu Chan, who has been trying to find Chen village for some time. He finally managed to find it. But he received a terrible response from the villagers, who told him that Chen-style Kung Fu was not intended for outsiders. Shortly after, a classic car appeared and accidentally crashed into Lu Chan. Then a girl who was a passenger in the car rushed to help him. She was Chen Yunyang, the true descendant of Master Chen. Yunyang was very beautiful, thus making Lu Chan uncomfortable with her gaze. But it turned out that Yunyang wasn't alone. She was with Fang, her boyfriend. Fong's appearance was different from that of other people. He apparently just finished his studies abroad. After Yunyang found out that Lu Chan was okay, she hurried away. At the same time, one of the villagers told Lu Chan that Yunyang was a descendant of Master Chen. Lu Chan rushed after her, but he was too late because Fong and Yunyang had gone too far. In the evening, the villagers, including the leader, attended an event to be organized by Yunyang. There, Yunyang wanted to introduce a new breakthrough that Fong learned while studying in Europe. Fong apparently planned to build a train track to make traveling easier for the villagers. He also introduced his creation, a lighting lamp powered by a machine. But unfortunately, the villagers deemed Fong's work a joke after the object was proven flawed. It made Fong desperate. Yunyang convinced and comforted him to not give up on his plans. The following day, Lu Chan saw Yunyang and immediately asked her about Master Chen's whereabouts. Yunyang said that Kung Fu Chen was not meant for outsiders. Her words made Lu Chan angry. Soon, they were involved in the fight. But Yunyang could push Lu Chan and make him bounce down and disappear. The scene changes to show Lu Chan being treated by an old man who worked as a scavenger. He advised Lu Chang to leave the village. Lu Chan would only be able to achieve his goal of learning Chen-style Kung Fu if he was an outsider in Chen. On the other hand, Yunyang was with Fong and comforted him. 
Fong was still sad because his work was considered trash by all the people. He was very annoyed when he remembered that. He slammed the musical instrument Yunyang had brought and left her to return to meet the governor at his house. The scene turns to Fong meeting the governor. He was curious to hear from Fong that all of Chen's villagers refused the construction of the train. Soon, there appeared a woman who was an investor from Europe named Claire. She came to meet the governor to provide a solution for the planned construction of the train to run smoothly. Claire offered the governor a giant machine that could be used to build the railroad track. The following day, Lu Chan came to see Yun Yang again but still received an unwelcome reception. Yun Yang was annoyed by Fong's unpleasant treatment yesterday. She then beat Lu Chan with a Chen-style kung fu. She has again defeated Lu Chan. She also told the villagers to beat up Lu Chan if he came back to their village. But Lu Chan didn't give up and kept trying to enter Chen village, and all the villagers beat him up many times. After the incident, Lu Chan attempted to practice the entire Chen-style kung fu movement he saw with his own eyes. Soon after, a scavenger passed by, and he was amazed at Lu Chan because he could learn kung fu only by seeing the movements. The scavenger then advised Lu Chan to imitate the opponent's moves if he wanted to win the fight. The following day, Lu Chan again confidently entered Chen village. He then met with the tofu seller and challenged him to a fight. However, the tofu seller made a rule if Lu Chan managed to destroy the tofu in his hand, then Lu Chan was the winner, and they both started fighting. Although Lu Chan was initially desperate, he remembered the advice of the scavenger. Finally, he defeated the tofu seller with some Kung Fu Chen style that he imitated. Yun Yang was also there to see Lu Chan's fight. She was astonished to see his ability to master Chen style Kung Fu. Yun Yang had never taught anyone this Kung Fu move before. After defeating his opponent, Lu Chan left to thank the scavenger, but he was exhausted and passed out while blood came from his nose. Soon after, Fong returned to Chen village with the railroad track machine. His arrival was to displace all the villagers' houses to be used as a planned train line. He was also accompanied by Claire and her team, who moved the railroad machine. Fong then issued a governor's warrant to the entire Chen village. The warrant contained an order for all Chen villagers to leave their homes within the next six days. Seeing that, Yun Yang immediately went to the village head to find a solution. But everyone there had no solution or way to avoid Fong's threat. The village head then said that there was only one person who could make the decision for this, Master Chen. But Master Chen had disappeared from the village for a long time. In the evening, Yun Yang tried to find information, but she was surprised to hear Fong expressing his love for Claire. Despite the shock and jealous, Yun Yang still took advantage of the opportunity to pick up a book on the operation of the railroad track making machine. The scene changes to show Lu Chan, who has just woken up and found he was at the scavenger's house. The scavenger then told him that Chen village was facing a threat. He then gave Lu Chan a mission to destroy the train line machine. He also said that if Lu Chan succeeded in carrying out the mission, then it was likely that he would be accepted into Chen village as the village savior. Hearing that, Lu Chan was excited, and without a second thought, he immediately carried out the mission. The scene switches to Lu Chan, who infiltrates the railway track. He was fighting against some guards, but he was desperate by the high-bodied guards from Europe. Suddenly, Yun Yang came and helped Lu Chan. It turned out that she also infiltrated the railway track to destroy the machine. Yun Yang asked Lu Chan to cooperate to find a gap to destroy the machine. Unfortunately, Claire and Fong found out about their plans, but Yun Yang managed to find a way to destroy the machine. They all rushed to save themselves because what Yun Yang did would cause an explosion on the machine. Claire was killed in the tragedy, Yun Yang fainted, and Lu Chan had to return to his house. The villagers praised Lu Chan for his heroic action in saving Chen village. He then met again with the scavenger, who turned out to be Master Chen. Lu Chan was shocked after learning that the scavenger was the person he had been looking for. Afterward, Master Chen tells him that a great tragedy will happen in their village because the army led by Fong will definitely take revenge for Claire's death. Master Chen, the true leader of Chen village, immediately ordered all his people to stand by for war. The scene turns to the villagers evacuating to avoid the war. Master Chen monitored from above the Chen village tower, and shortly, Fong and his troops arrived. All the villagers were prepared to execute a strategy to face Fong and his troops. Soon, the battle broke out. Yun Yang then appeared to meet Fong to persuade him, but he didn't listen to her words. Lu Chan kept helping the villagers against the Fong-led royal troops, but Lu Chan was shot down for protecting Yun Yang and instantly collapsed. It angered Master Chen, and he immediately beat Fong and his troops while expelling them out of Chen's village. Eventually, Master Chen and the villagers could repel Fong and his army. The scene changes to show Lu Chan, who passed out, being taken to the village head hall. Master Chen was also there with the village elders. The village elders learned that Lu Chan had mastered Chen-style Kung Fu and planned to kill him for being considered a thief of Kung Fu. Master Chen certainly disagreed with their plan. He said the only way to save Lu Chan was by marrying off Lu Chan and Yun Yang. It was done to make Lu Chan a part of the native of the village. Yun Yang agreed with the advice from her father. The movie ended by showing the atmosphere of Chen village after the war against Fong and his troops. Chen villagers were attending and celebrating Lu Chan and Yun Yang's wedding.
From then on, Lu Chan was recognized as one of Chen's villagers and Master Chen's son-in-law. The moral that can be learned from this movie is, never give up on achieving our goals, as shown by Lu Chan.